Hello friends, welcome to this video on PHP MySQL web development series. In the last video, we learned about how to perform CRUD operations on a database using MySQL eyes extension in object oriented way. But in this video, we will learn to perform different operations on a database in a procedural way. So first of all, let us see that how we can connect to a database. So in this code snippet, you can see we have a host username and the password and the function that we have used to connect to the database is mysql i underscore connect. But if you remember that in object oriented way of connecting to database, we use new mysql i. Create a folder php mysql i dash procedural inside www folder of WAM. And next create a file index.php In the browser type localhost slash php mysql i dash procedural we can see that connection to the database is successful next let us see that how we can insert data into the database table we have mysql i underscore query as the method to execute this sql and inside this method we have passed dollar connection object and dollar sql and once this query is executed it will show the message new record created successfully Create a new file and name it as insert.php. Open the browser and type php mysql i procedural slash insert.php and press enter. And we can see that database record is inserted successfully. And the new record is present inside our database table. In the previous slide, we saw that how we can insert record using mysql i underscore query. So let us see that how we can use prepared statements in mysql i procedural way. We have three important functions. The first is mysql i underscore prepare method. The next is mysql i underscore statement underscore bind params that is used to bind the parameter and their data types to the query. mysql i underscore stmt underscore execute method is used to run the query and insert or update into the database table. We have defined some variables with the values that we want to insert and inside mysql i underscore prepare method specified the database connection dollar con and then the query in the mysql i statement underscore bind underscore param method we have passed a statement variable and then the data types of all the values that we are going to insert and in the last mysql i underscore statement underscore execute method is used and we have passed the statement variable into it and once this method is executed the new record is inserted create a new file insert underscore prepared PHP. To save some time, I have copied the methods that we are going to use to insert the data, but I will explain briefly. 
so as discussed in the slide here are the values that we are going to insert next mysql i underscore prepare that accepts the connection object and the query with placeholders and inside the bind underscore param method we have dollar statement variable with the data types and the values that we are going to insert and in the last inside the execute method pass the dollar statement so let us run this script so we can see that database connection was successful and the record insertion as well so let us check this inside the browser click on the browse and we can see that the new record is inserted successfully so we have specified a query first we have to prepare the query by passing the connection object with sql then bind the parameters and finally execute i will create a file update.php Here is an update query to update title and price of a book where ID is equal to 31. Change the name of the file over here to update.php and press enter. The database record is updated successfully and let us see inside the database. I will click on browse. The title and the price is changed. To delete a record from database, we can use the prepared statements. In this delete query, we have an ID parameter that has the placeholder as question mark and after the statement is executed, the message record deleted successfully will be displayed. I will create a new file delete.php. Open the file delete.php and the record is deleted successfully. Let us check inside the database. Let us see how we can select records from a table in a procedural way. We have specified a query. The function to execute the query is mysql i underscore query. 
and the result of the query is stored into the dollar result and using mysql i underscore num underscore rows method we can check that whether our result has rows greater than zero and next to fetch each row from the result set we use mysql i underscore fetch underscore sos function that will fetch each row of the result as an associative array i will create a new file select.php I will change this delete.php to select.php and we can see that all the records from the database tables are displayed. We can specify order by and limit as well. only top two records are displayed we can also use a where clause over here So only the books with the category programming are displayed. You can download the source code of this tutorial from our GitHub repository. The link to the repository is also given in the description of the video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.